Victor Axelsson, world champion, Olympic bronze medalist, all England runner up. Yep. One of the greatest Danish players ever? Uh, it's tough to, uh, to talk about yourself that way, at least for me. So, you know, I'm just, I'm just trying to, to, you know, go with the flow and do my best every day. And luckily, so far, I've been able to do some good results, which I'm really uh, happy and uh, excited about. Yeah. So hopefully more, uh, more in the future waiting. Yeah, I mean, I, one thing that interests me is, do Morton and Peter sort of dip in with advice all the time? Do you get sort of mm. hearing from them, oh, well, when we won the All England, this is how we did it. Is that, is that annoying or? No, no, it's okay, it's okay. You know, I think, you know, they respect uh, me as a player and all the other players and, yeah. and likewise. So it's, it's, it's not annoying at all. You know, it's always fun to hear what people have to say and you might learn something if you listen. So I try to do that. Yeah, no. Are either of them your, would you call either of them your hero? Like, do you base yourself on either of them or? Uh, not really, you know, I'm... Creating your own legacy, right? Yeah, I'm just myself, to be honest. Yeah. You know, uh, I'm Victor Axelsen and other players, they, they also, you know, I think they all just trying to do their stuff their own way, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Um, that's what works for me at least. So I'm going to focus on myself uh, most importantly. I think that's the best way to be, isn't it? I yeah, mean. I also think so. You know, yeah. um, if you think too much about you know what other people think and 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 all their stuff they're coming with, sometimes it can be a little bit uh, you know distracting. Um, yeah. So you got to feel what's right for you, and then go uh, go with the things you you sort of feel uh, comfortable with. And that has been sort of really important for me my whole career and will continue to be so. And I suppose you forget your own strengths, don't mm. you really? If, you, if you're focusing so much on what other players are doing across the court and across the net from you, mm. you forget about what makes your game so, so fantastic. Oh yeah, definitely. What would you say is the strongest part of your, your game? Um, you know, I think my game is a little bit hard to say. My attack has always been pretty strong, but you know, one really important thing for me is that I can, you know, keep practicing, and I want to, you know, continue to improve all the time. Yeah, yeah. And that's really important. It's not only, you know, in the match game. It's also when it comes to practice and everything. I want to try to find the, the few extra percent, which I think is really important in the long run for me personally. Yeah. What does your so in terms of trying to find that extra little bit? What does your training regime look like? Mm. I think that's just so interesting. Like yeah. I talk to the badminton player, and I don't think people realise just the <clears> amount <throat> of dedication you guys have to put yeah. in to, to, to reach your levels. Yeah, you know, it's it's a full time job and 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 a lifestyle, uh, so to say. Um, I practice usually in a tough training block. I practice around four to five hours a day. Yeah. Uh, sometimes uh, exceeding five hours a day. Um, but it's mostly, you know, badminton in the morning, some skills in the afternoon combined with some physical training. It's either strength training or cardio or some yeah, yeah. sort. But of course, it, it really depends on what period you're in. Sometimes I only practice two hours a day. Sometimes it's, you know, I try to do even more. So it really depends. Yeah, yeah. Um, moving on to sort of look towards the All England, obviously that's our focus. Mm. How good would it feel to stand on that podium mm. Sunday, 15th of March and hold the trophy up? Oh, of course, it would be a dream coming true as well. You know, um, All England is one of those tournaments uh, which you really want to, you know, win. And um, for me, also, it's as I said, a big dream. So yeah, it, it would mean a lot. Yeah, I mean, in terms of in terms of where it sits for you, is it is it like the major goal from your career to have, be able to be on that list? Is mm. that something that you've always wanted to to be on? Uh, definitely, it's it's on the list. You know, there is a few things. You know, Thomas Cup, which. Uh, which we won, and then the World Champs, uh, All England, and of course the Olympics as you know a yeah, really really course. big goal. Um, so All England and and Olympics would be really really nice to to be able to win. Of course, well, what a double this year! I mean, that's <laughs> but <obviously, laughs> no pressure, of course. Yeah, but, <laughs> but obviously, I'm also realistic about everything. And, yeah, you know, of course. You know, I do my best, and you can really do more. Um, and hopefully, it will it will all turn out great. Um, yeah. But definitely, All England would be would be nice to would have in, awesome. in the in the box, so to say. With um, sadly, obviously, Kento looks like he's not going to mm. going to be able to compete at the All England. Does that add extra pressure on you personally? Obviously, you're the runner up. Um, some would say probably you know up there with Kento as the best player in the world. Does that add an extra pressure, or do you just see it as an opportunity? Um, actually, I don't think too much about it to yeah. be honest. Because I'm really, uh, I know that if I don't play my best, I can lose out to a lot of players. So I just try to get as ready as, as I can before uh, All England, and then I take it from there. Um, of course, it opens up the competition a little bit, but I, I don't think too much about it to be honest. Yeah, I mean the men's singles at the minute, it's, it's yeah. such a level of quality throughout the. Yeah, definitely. I mean, cool, you you actually end up looking past the top eight to like the top sixteen, really, yeah. like of potential winners of the competitions. Who would you say? 
um, aside from potentially mm. Kento, who would you say is like the toughest opponent on the tour? At the it's so hard to name. I, I don't really want to name, you know, any spe yeah, you know, yeah, speci yeah, sure. uh, specific players because there are there are a lot of really good players, you know. Um, Indonesia has a lot of good, you know, in Denmark we also have a few good players and uh, China, you know, it's it's really tough to just name a few. Yeah, um, so I'm going to go back on to sort of pressure and expectation, I'm sorry. It's okay, no worries. Obviously, there hasn't been a Danish men's singles champion for mm. 20 years since Peter yeah. Peter won. Does that add anything to you? Or is it, again, is it one of these things that as a, a pro sportsman you try not to focus on, mm. on that sort of thing? You know, to be honest, again, it's... I don't really focus too much on the history and the pressure and uh, you know all this kind of stuff um, because I can't really. First of all, I can't change anything, and second of all, I can't really use it. I can use it as motivation maybe, yeah. but if you see it as pressure, then that becomes a negative thing uh, instead of just looking at it as a good you know motivator for you to to keep working uh, in the daily practice. So when I won the world championships, there. You know, hadn't been a winner for a lot of years as well. So yeah. it, it uh, you can't really use it to, uh, for anything. Yeah. Do you love that feeling of winning? Like, is that what really pushes you to keep going? Oh yeah, events? definitely. You know uh, what it feels to be at the top of the podium at the biggest, uh, you know, events, and you also know how it feels to lose, and uh, you yeah. really want to, you know, go after that winning feeling for sure. How did it feel last year? Obviously, losing the the, mm. the final, you played some fantastic badminton mm. and the final was a great match, so mm. up and down, and really close. Yeah. How does that feel, and how do you sort of pick yourself up after after something like that? Um, you know. I was actually pretty, you know, when I got a few days um, after the event and stuff like that, I was actually pretty happy about my, my achievement there yeah, and, and my level of, uh, of play. Again, you know, it comes back to, you know, I, I literally did everything I could, but sometimes you have to respect that you're up against a better player than you, and uh, that was the case in the All England final. Um, however, I think that I showed that when I play my best, I can compete with, with Kento, um, yeah. and um, that's what I am sort of learned from that, and uh, I'm going to continue to sort of try to improve and get even closer. Yeah, I think um, looking back at your sort of past achievements at the All England specifically, how gutting was it? I think it was 2017 when you had to pull out for injury when you were seeded first. Mm. 2017, I think? Yeah. How, how gutting was that yeah. to sort of miss that tournament when you were sort of going in as the favourite and, yeah. and, and with the injuries and stuff? Yeah. Um, didn't I lose out to in Dan 17 though? One that you were going, was it 2016 or 2017? It was 18, 18, it was 18. Oh, 18, 18. It was 18. 18. Yeah. I think you were heading in as the favourite, yeah, seeded yeah, yeah. number one. Yeah, yeah. Was that really, was that gutting? Definitely, uh, you know, 18 was a tough year for me with a lot of injuries and stuff. Mm. Um, Definitely gutting, you know. But again, I'm not at this moment. I'm not too. Um, uh, how can you say? I try to focus on the things I actually can, can control. control. Yeah, sure. and um, if not, then I, I try to push it away a little bit. Yeah. Um, and at this point, you know, I'm looking forward only. Uh, even though I, I remember how it felt to sort of have to pull out and the year with injuries, but. Again, that gives you motivation to sort of uh, avoid that in the future. Yeah. Um, I'm going to show you a photo, Victor, which mm. we found on Facebook. This was mm. the first photo that you uploaded uh, to Facebook. Oh, young yeah. chap there. Oh, yeah, that's uh, German Junior Open, I there think. There you go. Yeah, yeah. That German Junior Open, did you, uh, yeah. did you win that day? I think, yeah, I won yeah. that tournament, yes. Um, so, if you could give one piece of advice to the young man there, what was it, 10 years ago, I guess? Ah, it must be. What would you at least. say? What would you say to this young, young chap? Um. Just, um, I actually don't know. That's such everything, a different question. I, I feel bad for asking that. Yeah, I wouldn't a, know what I'd say to myself. So. I, th I think I would say that, um, you know, everything will be okay. Just keep yeah, working. Keep going, doing what you're keep doing. Going, yeah. That's very philosophical. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, tell me about young Victor growing up in a dense. Was yeah. it always badminton? Was there any other options? It was actually mostly badminton, to be honest. Yeah. Um, I was lucky to live really nearby the Odin's Badminton Club, so it was really convenient for me to just go there. Yeah, I had a lot of close friendships, which I'm still sort of, um, you know, having today, and uh, they are my close friends are from Odense and from my time in Odense Badminton Club, yeah, lovely. which basically were my, you know, was my second home. Yeah. So um, I had a lot of good memories, but it all sort of surrounded about badminton and. Um, making everything work with the school I did then and, and stuff like that, so it's definitely a good time to, to think back on. If you weren't a badminton player, what do you think you'd want to do as like a career? What would be, what would be, is there anything you've ever wanted to do? Like for me, I've always wanted to work in a zoo. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. always wanted yeah. to work yeah, in a yeah. zoo. So yeah. I don't know about you, is there anything yeah. like that similar? Um, 
I always, you know, I always wanted to sort of build my own, either a company or whatever. But what it specifically had to be, uh, I'm not sure. It would probably be, you know, I love to move. I can't sit still, so it would probably be some kind of, uh, you know, business within sports or yeah, something like course. that. Well, you're um, quite commercially minded. Obviously, you do have your own um, mm, yeah, that's right. businesses and stuff and yeah, interests yeah. outside the sports. So yeah, that's right. You've obviously got like a bit of an attitude for it. Yeah, definitely. You know. Um, at some point, you know, also after my career, I want to see if I can build something, in so, you know, somehow. What yeah. it is, I don't know yet, but uh, we'll see. And um, I like to sort of um, be on my own a little bit and work with people I choose to work with. I'm not so good when people tell me what to do. Yeah. Uh, so I'd rather want to be, you know... Is that why like, you're a singles player rather than a doubles player? Yeah, I think, think so. Yeah. <laughs> you like yeah. to be your own boss. Yeah. No, I like that, Victor. Yeah. Um, have you heard back from Hugh Jackman yet? I haven't heard anything from Hugh Jackman. We should, we should make this a thing now. We have to find get an answer for you from Hugh Jackman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's a, it's a few years ago now, but uh, you know, it's still the challenge is uh, still up for grabs. It's still so open. It's still open. Now, you heard it here first on oh, the final shuttle cost. Yeah, yeah. Axelson is still calling out Jackman. <laughs> definitely, definitely. I think he's pretty busy though. But uh, it was yeah, he's got a few pretty... things on his plate. I yeah, think. I think so too. Um, yeah. Do you get annoyed with that sort of perception about badminton? Because about, I know I do, and I only just sort of work in the sport. Yeah. It annoys me, so it must, yeah. for the players, must be really great. Yeah, definitely. You know, when you hear folks talk about it, who doesn't really, you know, especially also within, you know, nothing about the United States, but a lot of people in the United States um, also, you know, think that badminton is sort of a sport you play in the garden at, uh, you know, a summer, uh, yeah, summer party, sure. something like that. Um, and it's, it's not really annoying me, it's just a shame for the sport. Um, however, I, I think you know that of course badminton is growing and growing, and we have such a strong. Um, um, how can you say? There's a lot of um, players in Asia, and obviously it's a big sport within a lot of countries in Asia. So I'm not sure we actually need to make it big in the states to be really successful. Um, however, it would be nice, of course. Um, but I think it's hard to compete with the sports in America because they have their sort of own sports, baseball and American football and stuff. But the Asian population is in, in the States is, is huge, so yeah. um, I cannot see why we shouldn't grow that as well. Yeah, I agree, and I think um, I think as well, like if I anyone says that sort of thing to me about the, the perception of badminton, I pretty much just show them the all England final from last yeah, year. Yeah, like, yeah, it, yeah. You, you can't watch that and tell me that no. it's, a, it's a boring sport. Yeah, so, exactly. Um, no, that's great. Um, I've got some quick fire, uh, quick fire questions oh, okay. to ask. Some of them are a bit abstract. I've just reread them and I wrote them last night at midnight. So it's I, okay. It's okay. <laughs> home or abroad? Uh, can I sort of go a little bit? It sort of depends. You on, can answer. Okay, however. it sort of depends uh, who I have with me abroad and stuff. I like to be abroad, but I also like uh, the folks in my family and yeah, girlfriend yeah. at home. So if I can bring all those, then I would actually say a combination of both. What's your favorite country in the world, apart from Denmark? Uh, I think uh, it's either um, Japan. Um, it must, yeah, Japan is probably my favorite yeah, country. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Future, futuristic, lots of technology, good yeah, food. Good food I'd love to go to Japan. So yeah. you're looking forward to the Olympics then? I'm looking forward to the Olympics, yeah. yeah nice. Obviously, you know, we're probably going to be pretty uh, tied up with the with I was going to say, there's, there's a little competition going yeah, on at the same but time. But I want to go to the sort of the more countryside and the mountain, uh, yeah, mountainside yeah, yeah. and stuff. So oh, that's cool. In the future. Um, tea or coffee? Coffee, for sure. Coffee, for sure. No doubt. No that doubt. was answered straight away. Uh, no doubt, no doubt. How many coffees do you have a day? Um, you know, I'm a little bit of a slow uh, metabolizer when it comes to caffeine, so I can only handle maybe two or three cups. Yeah, but yeah. Um, if if it was no deal for me, I would drink just a whole absolutely more. just yeah, training yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. That's the same as me. Um, sweet or sour? Sweet. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, I don't do uh, too much uh, sweets and stuff, but when I you know if you when I have indulge or downtime or celebrate or something like that, it's it's definitely some sweet stuff. All England, all the World Championships. Uh, at this point, it, it, it would be All England. Yeah, um, that's what I wanted to hear, Victor. Yeah, yeah I'd have been upset if you'd said anything else. Yeah, yeah. I, you might know I haven't said All England or Olympics. I'm not, I'm not, I'm oh, not no, asking no, you yeah, that. Yeah, it's okay. All England is all the right answer. All, all England. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Um, and this isn't a quick fire question. Um, what does a successful 2020 look like for Victor Axelson? Um, healthy, you know, without injuries and. Um, a few good tournaments win, um, wins, um, but seriously, standing on the podium, standing on the podium. But March. seriously, I think you know if I can look back on 2020 and say, okay, I got, I became a bit of badminton player this year. That should be the 
the biggest goal because then I also think some, some wins will follow. That is philosophical to the last bit. So I would have so. expected no other answer. <laughs> thank you. Um, yeah. Thank you very much for your time. And we're looking thank forward to seeing you, seeing you in Birmingham. Yeah, thank you. Right. I'm really much looking forward to it as well. Best of luck. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, mate.